Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I want to do a video talking about long-term fasting and really about the concept of the idea that you need to make sure that you develop real discipline and don't look for shortcuts, even though they might be somewhat long in duration, a month or so, but that you need to look for real answers that are really gonna improve yourself and build discipline in you rather than trying to find a short-term solution or a shortcut solution for your problem. So I've gotten quite a few comments and emails and whatnot talking about going on something like a 28 day or 30 day fast. I actually did a video on this just recently, but I wanna do a second video and double down on this point because as I'm seeing more and more of this, I'm getting a little bit concerned, one from a health perspective, right? I know that a lot of you that watch my channel, you know that I'm a big advocate of fasting, right? So I eat one meal a day. I've been doing that for about three years, right? And I go on shorter term fasts. Like for example, this weekend right now, it's Saturday. I will be fasting from essentially Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and then until Monday evening. And Monday evening, I'll be I'll be eating and I'll be exercising and working out pretty hard during that time. But here, here's the thing, okay? Even though I advocate fasting and I think it's very good for you and I think it's a great way to lose weight and to get in shape and honestly I've never been able to build the physique that I've been able to do except for doing this this one meal a day OMAD type of, of fasting, okay? Even though I believe all that stuff, the, the thing is that it's not a solution for a lack of discipline, okay? And, 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 and what I mean by that is that, so, so essentially like, you know, here's the thing that, that I get concerned about, okay? And, the, and some people have actually brought this up and, and I think it's actually a valid concern. Some people have said, you know, there's 15 year old boys that are watching your, your channel and what if they become anorexic and they, they just stop eating and they think that that's what they need to do. And so it's, it's not just 15 year old boys, right? It, it's anyone. If you're watching what, what I'm putting out here on this channel, okay? And you're listening to some of my fitness advice and some of the stuff that I do, okay? It's, it's pretty extreme, all right? I want to be jacked, okay? I want to be shredded. I have different fitness goals than most people. You don't have to look like me. You don't have to have the same goals as me, okay? But so, so the reason why I'm putting out this advice is if you want to achieve what I'm achieving, it's possible and I'm showing you how to do it and I'm just telling you how I'm doing it, okay? Now, with that said, here's the thing. What I am doing is living a lifestyle, okay? And and here's this is what's really, really important about this, okay? When you tell me, when a lot of people that, that email me or I see these comments and you're like, I wanna do this 30 day fast, okay? Just do this water only fast. And can I work out doing this? Are you asking some kind of questions or this? Are you telling me you're at 25% body fat? Okay, not to make fun of anyone. I'm not trying to call anyone out because there's multiple people that have said similar things. I'm at 25% body fat. I want to lose some weight. I'm thinking about doing a 30 day fast. What you're telling me is that you want some kind of shortcut that's going to replace your discipline. Okay, now it's going to take discipline to do a 28 day fast or a 30 day fast. Okay, but it's dangerous to your health. Okay, especially if you're already unhealthy. And you know, you don't need to fast that long, right? I, I don't really see, again, I, I'm, I'm not ruling that out. I don't think that there's, that I would say that, you know, that no one should ever do a 28 day or 30 day fast. You know, maybe it makes sense in, in certain circumstances, okay? And maybe to develop your discipline more, but it doesn't make sense as a short term solution for being overweight. Okay, because it is dangerous. You are going to jeopardize your health and you need to make sure that you do this right. Now, the stuff that I'm advocating, right? Eating one meal a day, like doing intermittent fasting essentially, OMAD, not very dangerous, okay? Even fasting for two or three days, for the most part, not really very dangerous, okay? But becoming anorexic and basically like going for extended periods without food and starving yourself, okay? You know, uh, and, and, and I would say without a purpose, okay? I mean, obviously you could say that some of the stuff that I'm doing is starving myself, but I'm lifting, I'm, I'm eating strategically, right? I'm, I'm taking in protein and carbohydrates after my, my lifting. And so you can't just take part of my advice. You can't just say, okay, well, John, you know, in order to lose weight, he's saying to fast and, and starve yourself. So I'm just gonna starve myself, okay? Because, and there's a lot of reasons for this. One, like I said, is the health reason, and it's just not optimal, okay? If you want to actually make changes, what you really need to do is make a lifestyle change. So again, with what I'm doing, with what I'm advocating, I have been eating OMAD 
for over three years now, okay? And I'll continue to do that because that's a lifestyle change. It's not a short hack in order for me to lose a bunch of fat or to get my, my weight down. You see what I'm saying? Not that I'm not ag that I'm totally against doing something short term. Of course, you can do something short term in order to reach, uh, you know, to reach past a sticking point, okay? But it's not something that you think is you're gonna, see, if you think that you're gonna do this once and it's gonna solve your problem, right? So let me give you an, an example here. So if you're like 25% body fat, you're overweight and you're like, man, if I could just, like if I do a 30 day fast, then I'll be down, I'll like lose like 20 pounds, I'll be down to where I wanna be and that's it. That's the wrong attitude to have, okay? Because you have to really think about what got you there in the first place. Okay, and I might as well link to my, I've got probably some, uh, we, we should have a playlist on fasting, on, on meal, one meal a day, fasting, whatnot. But anyway, it, you got to think about what got you there, right? What got you overweight? What got you to the 25% body fat? Okay, it was, it was in some way a lack of discipline. And I'm sorry if you think I'm fat shaming you now, but I'm not, okay? I'm just telling you the truth, right? Obviously, something in your lifestyle, the way that you're living your life, a lack of discipline got you to that state. Nothing wrong with that, that's fine. You should fix that in the future and we can go forward from there. But your answer is not gonna be a short-term solution because if you take a short-term solution, if you're like, I'm gonna fast for 30 days and drop this weight and then I'll be good or then I'll have momentum or whatever your, your excuse is, you're wrong about that because what's likely to happen is that you're likely to end up in a worse place than you were before. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's because you haven't built discipline. Now it's gonna take discipline, of course, to do a long-term fast, but ultimately you did not cure the problem. The problem was not that you gained weight. The problem was not that you're at 25% body fat. The problem was that you lacked the discipline to achieve the, the weight or the physique that you wanted in your life for some long period of time. So doing one short term thing, and again, I, I consider 28 day or 30 day fast to be short term, but doing one short term thing, okay, is not gonna fix the underlying problem of the lack of discipline. What you need to do is take some baby steps. What you need to do is before you consider doing some kind of a longer fast, right? And I'm, again, I'm not saying there's not some reasons why you might do that. You know, there's plenty of reasons for, to do a five day or seven day fast, or maybe even a longer fast. But before you do that, you need to be doing it for the right reasons, so you need to develop your discipline first. So you need to be able to control your diet. You need to be able to plan out your meals and to stick to that and to stick to a workout routine and to stick to a plan and to gradually see progress over time. If you can't stick to a plan, if you can't make an eight week program and stick to that and have progress with that, then you're not solving the underlying problem, right? You're gonna do a 30 day fast, maybe you'll succeed, maybe you'll kill yourself, I mean, maybe you'll hurt yourself, honestly, doing that, okay? Especially if you're like working out on a, on a 30 day fast. Believe me, I do some crazy extreme shit, but I don't think I would be attempting to like not eat for 30 days and, and continue to run and work out and, and lift. That, that seems a little bit extreme to me. I, I know some people have done it, but that, that doesn't seem like a good idea, especially if you're not in good health, okay? I'm not a doctor, you know, don't take my stuff as medical advice, but it just doesn't seem very smart to me, okay? So if you think you're gonna do that, and you think that after you're done, that now you're gonna have all this discipline, you're wrong. What you're probably gonna do is you're probably gonna fucking binge eat and you're probably gonna get gain more weight than you lost in that fasting period because your mentality is I need to do this one thing and then I'm done, right? Your mentality needs to be, I need to change my lifestyle, right? I need to have whatever my lifestyle is gonna be, that's my sustainable lifestyle. So for me, let me tell you what my lifestyle is, okay? So you understand. For me, my lifestyle, that I plan on doing for a long time is fucking working out for one to two hours a day, right? I hit the gym and I lift three times a week, two hours a day. I go running, I do my Muay Thai now, right? I'm always, every single day is exercise active day, okay? I'm eating one meal a day. I'm eating clean and healthy, right? And it doesn't mean that I don't ever have a cheat meal. It doesn't ever ever mean that I don't ever take a day off, which is very rare, but that's my lifestyle. That's what I plan. That That's gonna allow me to stay in the shape that I wanna be, both physically, like physique-wise, as well as endurance and, and athletic performance. That's my standard, but it's not a short-term temporary thing. So I can sustain that because that's my mindset is that I wake up in the morning and I think I'm gonna fucking lift some heavy weights for two hours today. I don't think that I'm gonna reach some point and be done, okay? So again, this is the important thing is that if you have this mindset, if you think that you're gonna just do this thing for 30 days and then you're gonna be done, 
that's not good. If you think you're just going to drop this weight and then you're going to be done, it's not good. You need to develop discipline and you need to fix that problem first. Now, again, once you develop the discipline, if you want to go and do some fasting or experiment with that for mental focus, for clarity, for further development of discipline, great. But if you are overweight, okay, and you cannot sustain a, a, a simple program to lose some weight over time, then doing a fast is a shortcut. It's a hack. It's not going to get you what you want, right? It may get you somewhat of the goal of losing weight. I mean, you'll definitely lose weight if you do that, but it's going to endanger your health and it's going to put you more susceptible for a rebound effect and it's and it's still going to let you get away with having a weak discipline, right? Conquer the thing that you fear. What is the thing that's holding you back? What's the thing that you can't do? Conquer that. Don't try and invent something new to, to avoid that problem. You've got to face the real problem in life. If you're trying to avoid problems by going around them, that's no good. Instead, just face up to the problem and say, hey, look, why am I in the shape that I am? Well, it's because I, I lack the fucking discipline to do my plan. So come up with a real plan. Come up with a real diet plan and stick to that. And that's going to give you better results overall because you're going to actually develop the discipline that's going to help you in life. And I'll say one other thing about this real quick before I move on, which is that this does not just apply to weight loss and to diet. Okay. If you're, if you're listening to this video and you're like, well, this isn't a problem for me, it may be a problem for you because what other areas in your, in your life are you trying to come up with a quick hack or a quick fix because you don't actually want to deal with the problem, right? Anytime that you think that something that you're trying to do something short term and you're thinking, I'm just need to do this and then I'll be done. It's probably one of those situations. You need to look at your life, right? As sustainable as a lifestyle. And you, if you need to make changes in your life, they need to be non-temporary. There's no quick fixes here. You need to make permanent changes in your life. If that's, you know, how you work, your work ethic, if it's not being lazy, if it's waking up earlier, right? If it's eating right, if it's having better relationships, developing social skills, getting rid of social anxiety, right? Any of those things, getting rid of your fears, a one one and done solution is not going to fix your problem. It's, it's only going to exasperate things because you're going to think you're going to be relying on this idea that you can complete a thing and just be done with it instead of developing the actual discipline or sustaining something in your life, right? So again, I'm not trying to pick on you guys, okay? I understand where you're coming from. I appreciate you. And again, I'm, I'm not calling out anyone in particular. I know that you might be thinking that if you're watching this video and you've emailed me or you, you've left a comment or something. And I'm not trying to make fun of you. I want to encourage you. Okay, but I just want to encourage you in the right way. Okay, I, I don't want to see you hurt yourself. I don't want to see you take my advice and, and, and do something stupid. I want to see you do something that's actually going to be effective and actually going to uh, produce the results that you want. And the only way to do this, guys, I'm, I'm telling you, because I've done this before. I've made the mistakes. I've gone on the rebound. I've done crazy shit diets and thought it was temporary. The only way to really do this is to come up with you know, a sustainable plan. Figure out what kind of physique that you want to have, what kind of performance do you want to have? What kind of person do you want to be? And then live the lifestyle that leads to that. Now, it doesn't mean that you won't have to like do some dieting or do some extremes at, at some point to, you know, to get to that equilibrium. But once you hit, hit the equilibrium, in order to stay at that equilibrium, you must be doing the thing. You must be sustaining it by living the lifestyle, which leads to that equilibrium. Does that make sense? Again, this does not just apply to weight loss, whatever it is in life. If you want to reach the equilibrium of being, of having that goal and keeping that goal, you've got to live the lifestyle. You can't do a temporary thing, right? Even if it's a 30 day fast, it doesn't matter if it's hard. Doing one uh, her her Herculean effort does not uh, get you out of the, the, the consequences of not having discipline. Okay. Having discipline one time and being really strong once is not a substitute for having continuous sustained discipline and being consistent. That's where true success comes from. And that's the, that's a demon that you have to conquer if you haven't conquered that yet. All right. If you have not subscribed to this channel already, make sure you click that subscribe button below, click the bell below to make sure that you don't miss any videos. And I got to tell you one last thing here. If someone, you know, is trying to do some extreme shit or even someone who's watched my videos, I know some of you share my videos and stuff and they're like, Oh, I'm going to do this crazy, you know, fucking 30 day fasting or whatever, we share them this video so they can understand that I'm not against fasting. I think it's a really good thing. I do it all the time, but I am against shortcuts. I'm against not tackling discipline. I don't want people to get hurt. So I, I want them to understand that it, it's critical to do things the right way. It's not just a one-off and then you're done. 
All right, that's all I got for you today. Take care. I'll talk to you next time.